Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn how to chain API requests in Postman or in other words I can say this is a process to fetch data or value from the response of one API and then refer that value in any other subsequent API. So let's get started and the very first thing is uh, step number one is we have to add our requests in postman so I will open my postman and here you can see if I go to uh, settings and I go to about so you can see I am using version 7.0.5 which is the latest version as of now and here I will create a new collection so I will go to new and go to collection and I will name this as API chaining demo and say create and here now I have to create my requests so I will go to Google and search for sample rest API for testing and here I will go to this website reqres.in and here we have some sample APIs that we can use for testing so you can see these are some sample rest apis we have get post put delete and different methods so i'm going to use this list users api which gives a list of users in the response like this so i will copy this url so i'm just going to copy this url from here and paste it in a new tab of chrome browser and then i will copy this rest of the endpoint from here so I'll just copy this one and again append to the URL and hit enter and you can see it is giving us the response so this is the URL I'm going to use I will copy it from here and go to my postman and in the request I will first I will just add it here and then I can say save and I can give the name or the other way is I can first go to new and say request and here I will say the name list users and I will add it to API chaining demo collection and save and yes this is here and now I will add the URL and this is a get request and that's it I do not need anything and we have already got the parameters which is page equals to and I will say save and send and you can see we have got the response and everything is working fine we have got the response so in the response we get three user details so you can see user ID 4 5 and 6 is what we get in the response now I will add another API and for that I am going to use I will use this put request which is a update user request and here we can update a user so I will add the URL again in my postman so I'll go to my postman and again go to new request and here I will say the name is update user and again this will go into API chaining demo and save and here the HTTP method will be put and this is the URL so I will also append this endpoint and here I also have to give a body so I will go to body and copy the body from here and go to raw and give it here I will paste the body here and then I will go to this text and say this is application JSON so this is fine and I will save this and say send and let me see the output and I am getting 200 ok and I am also getting the output and the response like this so this is working fine now step 2 will be we have to use 
variables to parameterize the value to be referred so here what I have to do is in API number 2 so I have two API requests now so if I see here in my collection I have two API requests I have list users and update user so what I want to do is I want to run list users first and from here I want to fetch a username like Eve or Charles I want to fetch it and then provide it in the update user API request uh, here so in the body I want to provide it here so the very first thing is I have to parameterize this value or I have to refer this from a variable so for that I will create environment variable so I will say use environment variables to parameterize the value to be referred and here I will go to my environments and I am going to create a new environment so I will go to new and go to environment and I will say this is API chaining variables and you can give it any name and I will say this is I will just say username 1 and I can just give some value here for now and I will say add so I have added this environment API chaining variables and here I have added a variable called username 1 so now to refer this I will go to my request and let me also increase the font I will go to settings and here I will go to general and here I can increase the font so let me just make it 18 and yes so here I will use double double curly braces or curly brackets and inside these double curly brackets I will give the variable name which is username 1 and save and send and uh, I think this is not being referred so let me just try again so if I go to ok I have to select the environment from here so this is the environment I have to select it from here in the drop down and now I will try again I will say send and yes you can see in the response we are getting name ABC that means it is being referred properly so now we have also referred it from environment variables now I have to set this environment variable which is username 1 from our API 1 and we will add some scripts there to update the value so step number 3 is we have to add scripts to fetch value from response of first API and after this step number 4 will be update the fetched value in environment variables so for that I will go to my API number 1 which is list users and here I will go to the test section so here we can write the scripts that will get executed after we have received the response and here uh, you can see we have already got some snippets that I can use so for example these are the snippets or I can just say I will use some variable say value equals and I will say because this is a JSON I will say JSON dot parse and I will say response body and then uh, here I have to get the value from this response body so here I will say
I will say this is body data and then value will be body data dot I have to actually give the JSON path of that particular value that I want to fetch so if I see the response you can see if I want to fetch Charles I have to give the JSON path of this node which is first name now for doing this uh, you can have multiple ways for example you can go to Google and search for JSON Pathfinder so this is JSON Pathfinder and here is a JSON Pathfinder I will also make all these links available in the notes so that it is easy for you to refer so I will say references and I will make this available here I'll copy this and also the website from where we are referring the API request this is reqres.in so this is also here and yes in json pathfinder i can put my json response so i will just copy the json response from here and provide it here and now you can see it has formatted and it has also given us our response in this form and now i will just click on this name which is charles and you can see it has given a path so this is the json path of this node also there is a chrome extension if you go to your uh, web store on chrome you can search for this extension or plugin json pathfinder and you will get a plugin for chrome so this is json pathfinder and you can see this is JSON Pathfinder you can add it to Chrome I have already added it and if you see this here this is the icon this question mark this is the icon I can go here and again copy and paste my JSON response and then here I have to give what is the node I want to search so the node is this first name I will say first name here and then I will say submit and it will give me all the JSON path it can find for first name so first name occurs three times in the response and this is what I am interested in I want to get this Charles this value so the JSON path is data one dot first name so if I go here I can just copy this and go to my postman and here I will say body data dot I want to fetch this JSON path first name and let me also see if I can log this I will say console dot log and I will say value and I will save this and I will also open the console log here so postman console I will open it from here you can also go to view and you should be able to see the uh, postman console here as well so I will you see this here and let me run the API and I will see the logs here and see it is here uh, it is saying reference error body data is not defined let me just check this again okay uh, let me say this is JSON data I am saying JSON dot parse response body and from here okay uh, there was a mistake in the spelling so that should be okay now it should work so I can actually use the same thing and save this and run this again and let me see and yes you can see I'm able to fetch Charles it is printing Charles that means it is able to 
uh, fetch this element or value so now I just have to put this in the global variables user 1 so let me just use the snippet uh, so here you can see set an environment variable I will click this and it is saying pm dot environment dot set the variable is username 1 and the value I want to set is this value so I just want to set this value ok so I will save this and run this again and if I now go to the uh, environment variables and you can see it has set Charles here so it has set Charles similarly if I want to if I change this I want to go to data node 2 and then get first name from here it will fetch that particular name and put it in the environment variable so you can see this time it has added Tracy so I can just change it here and now that's it I do not have to do anything else because in the next API it will get referred from the environment variable so if I run the collection now I'll just say run and that's it I will say run and you can see it is running and everything is fine so now our second API is able to fetch the data as per our need from the first API so this is how we do it uh, let me also say step number 5 is run and validate that we are able to fetch and refer the value in the second API and this is how you do API chaining in Postman this was an example on a REST API you can also try for a SOAP API I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching